Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Mecha Bella. Uh, now we're gonna... I mean... It's not my favorite set of units here, especially... But yeah, we're just gonna try to go for some like pretty wild builds, I think. Uh, specifically something i want to go for something having to do with the uh uh the melting points because melting points can actually like be really freaking strong if you can get like a good build and stuff with them then they can actually like absolutely demolish uh I don't think I'm gonna win this. I really don't think so. No, definitely not when the freaking crawlers over here are destroying me. On it, actually? Maybe, perhaps? No, they got melted too fast. Ah, oh, dang. That was close, though. That was really close. Um, uh, I'll go with that, I guess, and there's not really anything I want to, I can go for, though, because I want to try to, I basically just want to focus heavily on, uh, focus heavily on, like, the melting point. By the way, this is a really strong one. You basically can just like, like, basically get a refund if you, uh, if you feel like a unit or something isn't doing very good. You just be like, okay, let me get a refund. Also, the Mustangs are gonna be really annoying because they're so strong. Mustangs are genuinely, like, they, look at them. There's so many of them and they just absolutely demolish everything. Yep, and they move so fast. Oh. So many of them, they move fast, they attack fast. They might not have the most DPS, but like, or like the most attack, but they just... I feel like they're... When I said DPS, I'm mistaken. I meant to say damage. Because I do feel like their DPS is like one of the highest in the game. Uh... I don't know. Do you just, uh... I don't know. Like, I feel like I just need to... I feel like I just need to try to go for tons of melting points. I feel like that's my best bet in this. I don't know if there's really anything else I can do. Um, like... I can maybe to hold off okay, I feel like I, I have to hold off until I can get up like, I feel like I don't know if there's really anything else I can do if I want to actually like win dang if that right side could have held out for a little bit longer I might have been able to do a bit better yeah I mean Probably could have done a little bit better if the right side actually... <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, if the right side could have held out a little bit longer. Um, I'm just not getting any melting points, so actually maybe I should just go for hackers instead. That might be a better idea. Because as long as I'm not gonna... As long as I'm not getting... Um... As long as I'm not getting, like, I'll put one over here. Yeah, as long as I'm not get, really getting what I need, then I figure I might as well just kind of go for something different. I mean, I also do enjoy the hacker build, so, like, it's not something that I'm too upset about. Oh my gosh, but the only problem is the hackers are so freaking weak. If 
Especially against freaking storm callers. Which absolutely demolish everything. They're so good. Storm callers are so good and so annoying. Uh gosh. Now I get some melting points, but I've already gone for the hacker build. So I feel like I just I feel like I have to commit. I feel like I have to commit to the hacker hacker build now. I don't know what else to do. Is there any units on the flank? No. I might actually put some units here just in case they ever do for go for a flank. I just want to make sure that I have some units available. They have storm callers, of course they do, but I'm hoping I can like convert some things and just be just distract as much as possible. Plus you get that rhino. Yeah, just kind of convert as much stuff as possible. Be as annoying as possible. Just distract, basically just distract those storm callers as much as possible. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Because those storm callers are definitely going to be an issue if I can't do something about them. There we go. Uh, of course now I get more freaking melting points. But it's fine. Uh, we'll go for that upgrade. Oh, the only problem is the only unit of mine that can actually shoot the overlords are my marksmen. And I do feel like my marksmen are a, li are a little bit far ahead for that. So that's definitely a bit of an issue and a pretty big concern for me. Yeah, uh, I may be screwed here. Am I actually gonna lose this? I might. 91 health. I have 91 health. Left. I don't have much anti air. That's the. That's a big problem. Oh, I didn't mean to... I'm an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. I didn't mean... That was the wrong thing. I meant... Uh... Well, let's go for a couple of these then, I guess. Jeez. I didn't mean to. Um. I don't know. I feel like I just have to kind of go for what I have and hope that I can get a hacker the next time around. Please convert, please convert, please convert, please convert. Okay, that took a while. Rhinos though, they're gonna be pretty good. Yeah, converting their rhinos. The rhino is, isn't too terrible. I mean, it's not great, but... It's not, it's not terrible. Especially once you get some of those tech upgrades and stuff on the Rhino. Then it can definitely be extremely good. Uh, 
Here, let me just give that to you then. We'll make that a zero on him, and then he can be a level four. Should I get the fortress? I'm gonna go with that. And then, honestly, should I just make the sledgehammers like really strong? I could. I could upgrade them, increase, give them this as well. Just basically make them super tanky. I feel like that's a bad idea though. I feel like that might be a waste. Or, it could be a brilliant idea. I feel like it's, I feel like it's a genius idea. I'm joking, it's a terrible idea, but I just wanted to do it, just for the fun. Just to see what would happen. And, uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much screwed, because they're just going to destroy both. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I am 100% dead. There's no way I win this. There's just not. The speed at which they're destroying my hackers is terrifying. And those marksmen? Yeah, the marksmen are... a pretty big concern for me at the moment. Convert him! Convert him! Convert him! Turn him into a convertible! Oh wait, I'm actually gonna win this? <laughs> oh my gosh. How, how, how do I win this? This is hilarious. That's, wow. Um, uh, I'll go with that. Upgrade him. Now he's level 5, my gosh. Honestly, I'd say the Sledgehammer's probably, you know, they, they, uh, they carried, they hard carried. I don't know, honestly, I don't know. I think, I think that might be my best bet for this. Yeah, the problem is they just take that out immediately. And then everything just kind of gets screwed over after that. Especially with how freaking strong the marksmen are. Because they just evaporate most of my team. They're like the enemy marksmen are just so freaking good. Honestly, the sledgehammers are actually putting in work. Like, I know I was joking about going for the mark for the sledgehammers, but they're actually doing insanely good. Like, they're tanking. They're tanking a lot of hits. Um, I'm thinking about going for that and then going putting that on this, or what do I already have on him? Oh, I already have that. Well, let me put that on him, that on him, that on him. Let's upgrade some of those guys. Um, let's go for that, because I feel like that's my best bet at winning. Oh, melting point. Yep, that's scary. Yeah, see, this is why I wanted to go for a melting point build. Because the melting points are freaking insane. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm definitely screwed. And 
Unless I can convert? No. Oh yeah, no, they're they're dead. They are dead. Wait, what? We're not dead? No, we're we're definitely dead. Convert! No! Gosh dang it, that was close. Okay. One more game. I'm gonna try to go for See, the problem is they give me melting point right at the start there, and I'm pretty certain that means I'm not going to ever get it again, because that's always how it goes. So, we're just going to... What is this? I don't have any anti-air. Yeah, the rhinos are just going to get demolished. It, uh, I'm 100% losing this fight. The rhinos are good, but they need backup. If you don't have backup with the rhinos, then you're screwed. And I'm not going to be able to destroy the steel balls. The balls are just... They're too strong, honestly. They... Freaking man... Literal, literal man of steel right here. Um, I go for like I'm gonna go for a Vulcan just to kind of get me through the beginning here. Uh, then I'm gonna try to save up for some melting points. Yeah, I mean, the rhinos do good. They just kind of struggle a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the Vulcan's gonna do well as, as well. I mean, the Vulcan's really strong. So it's it's un it's like yeah. See it, it, the Vulcan the Vulcan can carry pretty nicely. Um, even um, you know what? I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna sell the Vulcan. So I can buy another melting point. And then I'm gonna go for that. So then I can buy that. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. We're just gonna try to buff the crap out of the melting point. The melting points. Yeah. I mean, the only the only really nice thing is that the Rhino can outrun the Storm Collars for the most part, but then it also comes down to they kind of get screwed over if they like stop moving. The melting points also against Storm Collars are pretty weak. Uh. just because of their extremely slow movement speed. So I'm not even, yeah. I mean, against everything else, the melting point is pretty decent. I mean, especially with the upgrade that like increases their, uh, the amount of beams they shoot out. Uh, the only thing that sucks is now I have less money to spend, but honestly, that's fine with me. Uh, 
I'm going to get rid of that rhino, so then I can buy that. I think I'm going to kind of slowly sell off my rhinos, because yes, they're good, but they're also worth 200 and for $200, I don't feel like they really do a whole lot, especially compared to like how good my melting points are. Sure, they tank a bit, but... <clears throat> I don't know, I just feel like the melting points are far better. Especially when you consider that they can hit air units and can hit multiple units, have a slight AoE effect on them. <clears throat> like, I don't know, I just feel like they're really good. Equip this. I don't really want any of those, and I'm actually gonna buy that so that I can get a bunch more melting points. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this setup. The only. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The only thing that's gonna be an issue in the future. See, the rhino, it tanks a little bit, but. I don't feel like it's enough, I don't feel like it tanks enough for it to be worth 200, you know? To, like, keep it on my team, I just don't, I just can't see it being worth it. <clears throat> All I need is some melting points, and then they just can solo a whole fleet of units, you know? Um... Honestly, I'm just going to skip again, and then I'm going to go for that, and then I can, uh, yeah, I'm going to sell off that right now, and I'm going to spend a bit of money upgrading these guys. Converting damage into health for the um, for the melting point, I would definitely, I would honestly say, is 100% one of the strongest upgrades in the entire game. Uh, along with like hitting multiple enemies, hitting like having multiple laser like laser beams, not to be mistaken for the YouTuber slash streamer laser beam. Um, <laughs> just wanted to throw that out there. Um, so yeah, let me start selling off some of these other units as well, because obviously I'm not really going to need them. Um, but yeah, having, you know, multiple laser beams, having that AOE effect, having... The melting point, to me, is just one of the strongest units in the entire game. By, by a landslide. Like, they just, they demolish everything. The steel balls can't even, like, the steel balls, I think, are meant to be kind of like a weaker predecessor to, you know, the melting point. But, to me, they don't even come close to the power of the melting points. The melting points are just too dang, too dang good. They, they really are. They're just too good. And increased attack now. Like... I'm telling you, these, these guys are just going to end up demolishing. And I need to start selling off my arc lights, because my arc lights don't do anything. They're worth 100, and they basically do nothing. Uh, compared to, like, the team, you know, that I'm currently working with. Uh, yeah. Arc lights basically tank a little bit of damage. That's basically all they are for. Like they're like they're like a tiny meat shield for my main big units. Um. Uh, 
I'm gonna do that, and then I'm also gonna do that. So I can get a couple of those guys in. And then I'm gonna put some guys on the flank. Just because these guys are pretty good. It's gonna take a little bit of time for them to spawn in, sure. Um, but at the same time, they're gonna do pretty good work. And they're gonna be a really nice distraction. Especially, and they're gonna take out those shields. Distract the storm call some of the storm callers. Be able to tank, you know, take out these things. Yeah, I mean <coughs> Melting points are just my f they they really are just now my favorite unit in this game. Um And now these guys are, you know, they're getting insanely good upgrades. The only problem is the fact that they are outranged by other melting points. And that is a very big issue. So I'm, I might have to do something. Because the little guys are going to be a... Yeah, that's the problem, is that they get outranged by the other melting points. Uh, gosh. The only... Oh, I guess that ended in a draw. Okay, whatever. I'll take it, honestly. But... <clears throat> Uh, I feel like that this seems stupid for it to end in a draw after I did well like that. Uh, I whatever uh, My name is Sam <sighs> Honestly, I'm not even, I'm not gonna end the video yet I'm gonna talk about how I feel like this game needs more stuff added to it um, Because right like I said, I can't play this game yet with other people or even other things because I have to conserve the amount of internet like it, it takes internet to uh, upload the videos and that's the that's all the internet I can really use other than you know downloading some of these games to play them for you guys to watch so like I play I play these games without internet that's how I play them that's how I've been playing them and I just feel like the this game needs more stuff added to it. Um, at least when you're playing offline, because all you have right now is the survival mode. That's all I can act. That's all I can really access. Actually, yeah, that's literally that's literally all I can access. I can't access anything else. This even I feel like the Commander Academy. Why can't I access this? This has nothing to do with other players. This one, I kind of understand. This one, I don't. At all. I don't understand this at all. This one, I can also play against, but it's it's so easy. So, that's why, like, I feel in the unit modification, can't even access this stuff either. Uh, so, I just feel like they need more single player stuff in this game. Because... Yeah, I, I, like, I can't, I can't play anything other than the survival mode. So, either they're gonna have to add more stuff to it, or I can't really make many more videos on this game. Because there's just not, it's an extremely fun game. Like, it's one of my favorite games to play ever since I started playing it, ever since I started watching videos on it. It's a game that I'm, that I love, but I barely can play it because, you know, I just, like, there's very little stuff that I can do to make videos on. Anyways, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. But yeah, my name's Sam. This is me uh, playing Mechabellum. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one, and yeah, take care.